Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tom Bauer and this is Brew York, the show that's gonna show you exactly where to get the perfect craft beer in the perfect location, only on bizcaster.tv. So we've checked out nine of the greatest bars New York City has to offer right here on Brew York. But how about a brewery? How about the best brewer New York has to offer? That brewery, Brooklyn Brewery. So I'm here with Garrett, the brewmaster down at the Brooklyn Brewery. Garrett, thanks for having us. And uh, this place is gigantic, man. You have so much beer going on here. It's getting bigger and bigger. Yeah, tell, <laughs> t tell me a little bit about it. Tell me what's going on here at the Brooklyn Brewery. Well, last couple of years, we've expanded. And now we go from North 11th Street all the way over to North 12th Street. Wow. So we kind of hug the Brooklyn <laughs> Ball, you know, and we genuinely do because they're uh, such good friends of ours. And we're getting eight more pretty big tanks okay. uh, next month. And at that point, we'll be brewing almost 100,000 barrels here, which Whoa. is 200,000 kegs worth of beer per year. Wow, yeah, 200,000 so kegs of beer. We are rocking and rolling. Wow. Okay, so uh, what do you have here for me to try out? Here we have the latest of the Brewmaster Reserve beers. Every okay. few months, we do a new beer under the Brewmaster Reserve overall label, and it'll be something completely new. This one's called Fiat Lux. Fiat and Lux. Fiat Lux means let there be light. Okay. You have to do I the like gesture it. when oh, you. I'm sorry. Uh, no, yeah. Okay. Wait, let, let, that be light. Yeah. let there be light. Okay. Um, and uh, so this was a special for summer. Okay. And Fiat Lux is a uh, is a strongish wheat beer. Uh, here what we've done is we've added a lot more hops. We right. have added a little bit of orange peel, but even more we've added lime peel. So All cheers. Right. Let's give it a shot. Cheers. So for people who like wheat mm. beers, it has yeah. the lightness on the palate. Absolutely. But for people who love IPAs, exactly. for example, I was just gonna say that. And it is like a, bitterness. It is a perfect meld yeah. of a wheat beer and an IPA. I mean, listen absolutely. to him. He does, he does. He says it so much better. No, than it me. really is. It's fantastic. <laughs> it's no joke. It has it has the perfect amount of everything in it, and it's crisp. It's clean. You're gonna like it. Um, what else do you have? I know you have one that's not in a quote unquote typical. Beer bottle? <laughs> uh, at one time, this would have been a typical beer bottle. And okay. uh, many people will look at this and they say, well, why don't you put the beer in a champagne bottle? Right. But actually, this is a beer bottle. Okay. And it's always been a beer bottle, and champagne is in a beer bottle. Ah. So uh, the whole point of uh, champagne is to make it sparkling like, uh, uh, like beer. Right. And uh, they have uh, used the same technique that has been used in beer for many years. Okay. So the, uh, the beers that we make in these large bottles, Sriracha Ace, Local One, Local Two, yep. uh, Black Ops, are all re-fermented in the bottle. Okay. Um, they go into the bottle completely flat and gain all their carbonation through re-fermentation in the bottle, in this case with champagne yeast. And the beer is actually named after the hop variety, Sriracha Ace. Okay, so that's the kind of hops that you put into this beer. It's called exactly. Sriracha Ace hops, okay. And the Sriracha Ace hop is originally from Japan. Okay. Uh, it has flavors of lemongrass mm -hmm. uh, and almost a, uh, a dill-like character, really okay. unique. All right, let's give it a shot. Oh, wow. That is very unique. That is. Yeah. It's like a typical beer when you first put it in, and then it hits you with that unique flavor. Yeah. I guess that's the dill you were speaking yeah, yeah, of. That it's is. Like it, wow. Yeah. It's actually in the face right there. Yeah. <laughs> it really does. Well, that's fantastic. Uh, it's the only beer so far that has started off as a Brewmaster's Reserve and has huh. since graduated to become a permanent <laughs> uh, uh, beer of ours. Yeah, congratulations, buddy. You did it. You did it. <laughs> so. I'm interested in how it all works. Do you mind giving me a little tour of how everything sure, happens Sure, we can here? do that. All right, let's check it out. Gary, you had me try some amazing beers. Now we're here, and I'm, let's see how it works, man. So tell me all about it. What's going on here? So what we're doing in here, this is a brew house. And somewhat confusingly, these few vessels right here are called a brew house, and this is called a, a, a brew house. So there's brew That's houses the, yeah, in the brew house. Exactly. And basically what we're doing is we're taking malted barley, sometimes wheat, breaking it down into sugars, okay. uh, which gives us a sweet liquid called the wort. Yep. We bring the wort to a boil, we're adding our hops, and we're getting the bitterness, flavor, and aroma from hops. 
after we're finished with that boil, we then cool it down, we're adding our yeast, and it's the yeast that's in there fermenting it into beer. But since you're gonna be talking about yeast, I think I'm gonna leave you with Tom. Tom, all right, well, we'll go check out Tom. All right, cool. <laughs> So I'm here with Tom, the lab manager here at the Brooklyn Brewery, also brewing here at the Brooklyn Brewery, correct? Also one of the brewers. Yeah. Uh, Garrett just took me through the uh, the brew room over mm -hmm. there and uh, showed me how the, the boiling of everything and the cooling mm -hmm. down. And now it's uh, it's cooled down, it's ready to go, now fermentation's happening. What's the next step? Brewing beer is, has got sort of two major sections to it. There's the okay. brewing, which uh, Garrett took you through in the yep. brew house. But the stuff that we like in beer, the stuff that uh, makes beer, you know, one of the world's most popular beverages, uh, actually comes from the yeast. The fermentation area happens in this big, huge tube, correct? Uh, the fermenter tanks are, are a shape that's called uh, cylindroconical, actually. Uh, so there's cylinders on the top, right. which is just a tube, and then yep. cones on the bottom. So once that word is cooled down, uh, we add yeast to it. The nice thing about yeast is you can uh, reuse it over and over again. We actually have four different strains of yeast uh, in-house right now. Okay. So we have a, an ale, uh, a lager, a Belgian, and a uh, Weiss yeast. Really? So depending on the type of beer, you're going to have different yeast that will give different character to the beer. So the yeast that we're using now is not the same yeast that we were using 15 years ago. <laughs> right, exactly. Uh, but we actually have been reusing it just batch to batch to batch to batch for years and years since this facility uh, opened up. So really, for years and years. So that's gonna do it for season one of Brew York right here on Bizcaster.tv. Go out there, find new bars, try new beers, let us know what they are and what you're having, because we always want to find new bars and great beers. And remember, drink responsibly. I'm Tom Bauer, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.